Greetings travellers and welcome to part 2 of this low orbit base jellyfish station build tutorial. Please check the links below for part 1 as well as other videos for glitch building and establishing a low orbit base. Okay so let's jump in and we'll start with our landing pads. Build three alloy floor panels out from the small biodomes and select the alternative landing pad and use the two girders at the bottom to align it to the alloy floor. I recommend getting the build camera in this position. It'll just make it a bit easier to line up the landing pad. And we're going to wire glitch a moon pool floor onto the landing pads to give them a bit more character. So go ahead and select the moon pool. Don't worry if you can't see it, it is still there. And then you can select the color. I tend to use black or black and rust. Then toggle wire and place the wire head as close to the center of the landing pad as you can. And when you're ready, you press the toggle wire and the build button at almost the same time, giving a slight preference to the toggle wire button. Now we can go ahead and remove the alloy floor panels and replace them with the alloy framed glass panels. Extend the corridor by one cuboid room and then add a door. You can use the short alloy walls for safety rails. Add a ramp and then repeat the process on the other three sides. Okay, so now let's move on to the raised floor inside the giant biodome. I wanted to build a raised floor in the biodome just because it makes it a little bit easier to look out the windows, plus it kind of changes the atmosphere inside the dome with a different colored floor. So working from the platform we built in part one, Let's just first establish a short range teleporter to the room below so we can easily access once we block off the entrance in the center. Try if you can to put the upper and lower teleporters on roughly the same side just so we can find the connection points a bit later. Okay, so now we're going to build a 32-sided stone floor circle, starting from the center. Thanks go to the most excellent builders, Bibblebum and Scottish Rod, whose videos I used to learn this technique. So the first thing we have to do is establish a wire point at the very center of our circle. We do this by first building a power door and now we have to do some wire glitching. So first we move the stone floor and then put it back in place. Then we perform what's called the reverse wire glitch by pressing the toggle wire button and the build button at almost the same time, giving a tiny preference to the toggle wire button. When performed correctly, the stone floor will be replaced by a wire which you can connect to the power door. To make a horizontal snap point, we're going to have to use another stone floor and repeat the process again. The timing of the reverse wire glitch can be a bit tricky, and believe me, I don't get it every time either. And if I kept in all the times I failed, this video would be much, much longer. So after replacing our stone floor, we can go ahead and delete our power door with its angled wire. And now we have our central horizontal anchor point that we can build our circle around. So 
So build another floor panel over the wire and then move up one and perform the reverse wire glitch. But this time, instead of just attaching the wire, we're going to wire glitch the floor panel on top of the other one. We do this by pressing the toggle wire and the build button again. That would give us an eight-sided circle, but we do need a few more angles than that. So go ahead and attach two triangles like this. And then we use both exposed sides of the two triangles to glitch build four more floor panels on the center. I'm using the stone floor panels in this case just because some of the other floor panels can get a bit flickery when you start layering them on top of each other. Two more to go. Okay, so there we have the bases for our 32 sided circle. All that's left to do now is to build out from all of the facets of this central shape. Just have a quick scan around to make sure you haven't missed any. And then start on the next layer out. For the last layer, I use the timber frame glass panel, just so you can see the water through the glass. Pretty. Okay, so we're almost done now. All you have to do is move our short range teleporter down onto our raised floor, delete the scaffold and reconnect the teleporter cable. Okay, so there's our raised floor complete. Just one last little external feature. I use solid cubes to hide the glass cuboid room directly under the biodome. It makes the whole thing look a bit more stable. And I use the bubble pipes to give the impression that there's some kind of air circulation unit. And if you did build over an EM hotspot, now you can just connect all of your EM generators together to give your station power. So we're ready to move in. Just move your base computer onto your base. Have a bit of a tidy up outside and build your base teleporter inside your base. I'm using the scale glitch to make a small one just because we're pretty short of space downstairs. Please check the links below to find the scale glitch vid. Okay so now it's over to you and let your imagination run wild and decorate as you see fit. And of course, if you have any questions about anything in this video, please leave a comment below and I'll address them as best I can.
I hope this guide was useful, so happy building. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you later.